Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, it's time for your studio update. I'm not saying it too loud because I don't want the fish to scatter. So, uh, <laughs> Rami's like, no, I see you. <laughs> I, see, I see you getting ready for the studio. He's like, oh, no, I got to think of something to say. Oh, yeah, I forgot something. Hey, okay, guys, um, I have uh, Roberto's star player. <laughs> it's a tree man. There we go. So let's Perfect. go ahead and let's go ahead and just field him right now. There we go. Boom. Now I, what? I call the game. Now what? Game over. <laughs> game over, man. Oh, wait, roll, roll, roll a d6. Rolls one. I is think rooted. you're done. Would that be great uh, if I just went like this right now? Well, he's not rude yet, so he's still in play. That's right. Oh, Fantastic. Man. Well, I'm gonna leave this guy here just to be. He can be your team. Just to be intimidating. He's the uh, referee. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Right. It's like he's biased. So, are you gonna challenge my call? <laughs> yeah, I dare you. <laughs> That's right. More. Yeah, looking down. All right. So we're starting a blood bowl league. Yep. Mason. Doing games for all the Mason players. is the mastermind here, right? Blood bowl is like the best game they ever made. To be what? Honest. It is. No. It is, it is not. Yeah. Maybe like. Eighth best. I might have to start with them on this because I'm kind of excited now. Yeah, this Are is you? Kind of this is the first time he's ever even played. So I'm right, starting well, to get my go. pieces together. This from the guy that's never played. You've never played Blood Bowl? Never played Blood Bowl. No. You should watch us and learn. Should I? Yeah. Should I learn something? That's should I add learn. another detail to my life, to you my should. already Rodney, already incredibly always... complicated <laughs> life? You guys have no idea how busy I am nowadays. I that's it's crazy. You should always take a little time to relax, Sean. <laughs> yeah, I should take time to relax. <laughs> yeah, it's You're pretty high weird. Stroke. High stroke. Pretty weird. Yeah, as you can tell. <laughs> you have plenty of Skaven. You could easily field the team. Oh, oh. Skaven are so good, too. Yeah. yeah. They run so fast. Yeah. Are, it's, are Skaven not good at everything? <laughs> Gutter runners, they can score on the turn that they get the ball from the line. Really? They can go, oh! oh bro. Bro. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. Yep. It's got to be okay, game so. bound. Let's, uh, let's go bug Karen now. Hey, where is everybody today? Lunchtime. Oh, it's lunchtime. Okay, great. I'm so, here. That's what's important, right? You are. Yeah. You are. So, so. you're uh, your quality control. Yeah, exactly. Right. So uh, how goes? How does a quality control check look at BTP? Uh huh. Well, this guy right here is a level four. Okay. Um, so I've got to check things like he has eyes. Well, he happens. Yeah, he does. Some of them haven't had eyes, so I'm gonna have to kick this project back. Right. He's got eyes. I gotta check his gems. Make sure they're. The right level. Make right. sure, like, things like his axe is highlighted on the beveled edge. Right. Uh, make sure there's enough shading. Stuff like that. Right. Check the base rims. Make sure they're... So right. you go through... You basically go through and make sure everything's right. Yeah. Pick up each one. And if it it's not right... Over. And if it's not right, send it, it right back. back to the artist. It goes back. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, wow. These hiles are really neat. Yeah. Check they're out like that freehand. Red. Like, oh, that's freehand? Good. Yeah. Right here, too. Oh, that's great. Um, that I like that. Brittany. Wow, okay. Yeah. She's uh, up and coming. Yeah, then. she's good. She's really good. That's fantastic. I think this is one of her first solo projects. So. All right. She's fantastic. I can't wait to do my own high elves. You know mm -hmm. they got a new book. Oh, really? Yeah, they got a brand new book this weekend. Cool. Sweet. I love that. Those are my, my two favorite armies are getting books in like 30 days. Awesome. High elves, my very first fantasy army, and Eldar, my very first 40k thing. Yeah, the Eldar are coming. Eldar, Space yeah. Elves. They're, I have no interest in playing them, but I love painting them. They're so yeah. much fun. It's fantastic. Yeah. All right, hey, thanks a lot. So start your 20 minute monologue okay. starting 20 minutes. now. I'm here all alone by my lonesome. Doing everybody's work. That's so awesome, yep. All the other artists are at lunch right now. All right. I don't eat, so. You don't eat? No, Do you survive on chi? Yeah. That's yeah, right. That's all I need. She just absorbs energy from the universe itself. That's pretty That's awesome. Right. You know how I learned about that? How? Marvel Comics. <laughs> the villain, the Mandarin, lives for like seven years on. Seven years Some kind of, yeah. Wow. Not chai tea. That's different. Oh, okay. <laughs> you actually probably could live on that. Okay, so go ahead. What's new in Christie Land? New in Christie Land. Right oh now. my gosh. It's like the same, just you know what, folks, over. hold on just a second. Okay, great. So you'll need slightly, you'll, you'll need to up your game just a tad. Oh, Sean. You know, you know what? I about had it. Give me that. Okay. Okay. You talk for 20 minutes now. Um, all right. I don't know. My life's pretty boring. I just, you know, I got nothing going on. Keep 
Keep going with 20 minutes <laughs> of that. You see, it's not so easy, Keep is it? Keep going. 20, 20, 20 minutes, minutes of, of that. nothing. Yeah. Okay. Um, wow, you really want to know what's going on? All right. So, uh, all right. Things going on in my life. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, my uh, younger son is in Scouts now. So tonight's his first pack night. Ooh. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I kind of, uh, my natural instinct uh, in my midlife is to uh, to rebel. Like I got it, I got it reversed. I was like very conformist growing up to a great extent, uh -huh. and like I was like, I need order in my life. This is too much chaos, you know. Yeah. And uh, and then now in my midlife, I'm turning into a bit of an anarchist. So you know, the kids go to like some event or whatever, you know, and then they get out, and I'm just like, all right. Don't let anyone tell you how to live your life, you know. And uh, so I'm like, I'm just, I'm injecting my kids with just a little bit of, a little bit of, a uh, little bit of anarchy here and there. Yeah. What's the and, first? I don't know oh, much Colorado. about scouts. What's the first level of that he gets um, Well, like you're in, um, you're in uh, Cub Scouts first, mm -hmm. and then you're in Boy Scouts. Okay. And Cub Scouts has four ranks. I can't remember the, the order they go on, but it's like bobcat, wolf, bear, and then uh, and then you become a wee below, which is weeby loyal scouts. So it's all it's all contrived, it's a little corny. Yeah. And uh, I mean obviously it has a fantastic element to it of camaraderie, yeah. they learn the skills and uh, and whatnot. But I'm just like, boys don't let anyone tell you how to live your life. Yeah. You know, yeah. be independent. And uh, I think it's I think it gets through them. I mean people remember that. They remember, you know, being 10 and their dad sitting down with them and telling them, you know, yeah. whatever it is. Uh, Colorado, that's kind of big news. Uh, it's not set in stone just yet. I'm still working out the details of it. Uh, but I may be scouting at the location for Valhalla in Colorado. Wow. Well, this is re Valhalla could be anything anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Like I've even looked at New Zealand. You know. And, well, the, because the empire that's being built is one where it's not confined to one location. You might be in one place. BTP is likely to stay in Utah. Mm -hmm. And, um, but uh, if, I, I want to create a company where there's opportunities to go different places. Mm -hmm. And that it's not, you know, it's not yeah. tied down to one location. It's not very colloquial. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it's very, it's very exciting. And it's all like, the line between fantasy and reality is like blurred in my life. But if you, if you look at any great story, that's how it starts. It starts with someone, no, it starts with somebody had a big dream. You know, so-and-so dreamed that it would be this way, this big. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and yeah. when I was first starting Blue Table Painting, uh, I had a dream that I was on the... Uh, plains of the San Joaquin Valley in California, the Fertile Valley, mm -hmm. and there was uh, there was uh, like workmen building a foundation. Like they were digging trenches, and you see rebar coming up. You could hear all the sounds of construction, you know, and the distant you know chatter of of, uh, of voices. And uh, I saw a man in a suit, kind of facing the other way, like looking out to the horizon. And uh, as I walked up to him, it was Walt Disney. Whoa. And he turns to me and he says, Sean, they didn't believe I could build it either. Isn't that awesome? That, is way that cool. was that was kind of my kickoff <laughs> dream for uh, for blue table painting. And uh, and then of course the years of horribleness <laughs> and late nights, you know. It's like, honey, what time are you gonna be home? I don't know, between eleven PM and one AM. You know. <laughs> Yeah. It was it was that thing, but is that really true? Oh, this is going off into amusing. See, you told me to fill twenty minutes. Yeah, I can do it. Were you serious though, or was that yes. part of the bit? No. Okay, great. I'm totally serious. So, um, it uh, where was I going? Oh, yeah. So, okay, you start a business. It's going to be hard for a while. Is that necessarily true? Uh, like I was in uh, I was in Elders Quorum, mm -hmm. and uh, we were talking about marriage, and. Um, one guy's like, one guy's about to get married, and he's like, "Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be really hard, but I'm sure it's gonna be worth it." And I'm just like, "Why did people?" Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put up my jinx shield here, <laughs> and you know, I'm not gonna let any of that touch me, because, you know, what yeah. if, what if it's great? What if it is easy? What if it is wonderful? Yeah. What if life is great? 
and it's and I think if you set up an expectation, well, then that's your faith. Yeah. And that's very powerful to go in and say, you know what? I believe it's going to be difficult. I believe it's going to be horrible. I believe it's going to be a challenge. I believe there's going to be sacrifice. I believe I'm on this earth to suffer. You know, and I'm just like, ah, I want to like clap my hands over my kids' ears and just be like, kids, no, life is going to be awesome. Yeah, it's going to be sure. fantastic. So, uh, I don't know, a little bit of my beatnik heritage coming out there, I guess, <laughs> you know? Because uh, my parents were both kind of, uh, in their own different ways, were very uh, free-spirited. Mm -hmm. You know, and their son just kind of imploded in the opposite direction at age 15. You, you know, <laughs> yeah. just be like, I'm going to wear a tie. <laughs> yeah. That's that's rebellion, <laughs> you know. Cause, uh, well, uh, my mother was always like, hey, you can, you have effectively total freedom to do and be and try whatever it is that you please. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, but I'm not going to do that, <laughs> you know. So anyway, by the way, I wish you people could see... Christy's face because she's holding the camera and you just see her two little eyes sticking out. Yeah, I'm like thing. making well, binoculars I think that's my here. Ramble. Okay, so that's how you do it. Oh, okay. You, go, you just go off for like 20 minutes. <laughs> All right. I'll probably just end up staring at it. <laughs> yeah, okay, now your turn. One bit of news. One bit of news. Well, it was my brother's birthday yesterday and we all got together oh. with my family on Sunday. Nice. And had some good food and stuff. That's about as far as I can think. Okay, great. Fantastic. Okay, so tell us uh, tell us about the project you're working on then. I've got a Marauder bomber right here. Just painting some bombs. Okay, awesome. For this Imperial Guard. Um, that's about as much as I've even started. Mostly my pod's been working on it. I've been working on other stuff, but I'm going to paint some bombs for it. So you just got... You just got transferred to this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks a lot, Chris. Yeah. So I come over to Thomas's area, and literally, hold on. Let's let's just take a look here. So I walk from like there. Da, 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 I actually get in front here, and then I notice it's not Thomas. No. So how are you doing? Good. I'm doing great. Awesome. You're uh, you're giving us a hand today. Yeah, I'm painting a Valkia. Awesome. That makes me happy. <laughs> Maybe I can get a close up of that. Of well, that later on. Yeah, when it's done. By the way, I love your hair that way. Oh, thank that, is, you. that is really nice. Uh, it took a while to get used to, I assume. Well, it's only been two days. So oh, this is new. Yet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Shows you what I know. Love the anarchy symbol too. That's uh, really fantastic. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh yeah, the roller derby. That is fantastic. You know, I thought of a great roller derby team name. Okay. Broken dolls. Is that taken yet? I don't know. There's a lot. There's like a zillion. It's hard to come up with a unique roller derby name. There's the LA Derby Dolls. Mm -hmm. And their uh, their uh, training facility and track is called the Doll Factory. Okay. So, That's fantastic. They could have so, dolls. what's your roller derby name? Gambit. Gambit? Yeah. Fantastic. All right, thanks a lot. Matt, hey. uh, show us what you're working on today. I'm working on a tower. It's a ruined tower. Awesome. It's got these uh, these uh, collapsed uh, supports all around it. Right. And what I'm doing is... What are those called? Colonnades? Uh, Pilisters? Buttresses. Buttresses. Buttresses, that's yes. the one. And this one's going to be interesting. This one's going to be partially gonna be collapsed. It's going to be a double. And it's going to be partially collapsed okay. through. Then there's going to be a top piece up here that's also partially collapsed with a little wall. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So is this for, um, is this going to be like our pine ruins terrain that yes, we already that have? Yes, our pine ruins. Okay, great. Do we have a sample of that around here somewhere? Um, I don't see anything. We don't have any Oh, well, we have this, here, right? We do have these. These are all the, the pine ruins style. Yeah, well, that's not. That's from an earlier set. But this is. Yes. This is. And this is all, just so the folks at home know, this is all sprayed and then it has some detail work put in by hand mm -hmm. by brush and this is interesting because this uh this scree here is actually just unpainted gravel mm -hmm. that's correct so there is a place for that yep you can uh you can use all sorts of uh, various like sands and gravels and you don't even have to uh, paint them and they look just as good now if i called the inquiries department today mm -hmm. thank you by the way mm -hmm. and i wanted to set up a terrain project with you mm -hmm. When is the when would I be in queue for that? When would you actually be starting it? I think we've got three, maybe four more 
projects ahead. Right okay, now. so maybe two or three weeks. Two or three weeks, something like okay, that. Okay, that's that's pretty good turnaround time. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, Matt. All right. It's so quiet down here. Okay, who's who's missing that it's quiet? It's John. No, John's here. No, you're 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 quiet. I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Ben and Zach won't be quiet. Jeez, they just two just keep going. Hey, how's it going? Going pretty good. What you working on? Dark Angels. Christy's like, run, John. He's gonna make you talk for twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah Christy. I thought I covered their class today. Uh, these. Uh, these are yeah. Cool. So, um, okay. So, what's going on? Noises. Please, could you could you do that again? Because I missed it. Uh, not much. Not much is going on. Yeah. Oh, come on, John. You really? You're going to make me wrangle it all please, out of you. Please, please. Okay, so Bring you're the up. you're the art director now. I am. Yeah. Been Starting from your humble for... beginnings as drone. Yeah. Uh, d what was I? I was here. I, I, I haven't been here for six months yet, have I? I don't think so. It started in October. Yeah, October. So. So, I've moved up in the world. This is a company with great opportunity. Yeah, for a lowly drone... All the way from Connecticut can uh, can sit high and mighty at the head of the art department. <laughs> awesome. Yep, you have yeah. a team of twelve people. Uh, thirteen. How many? Thirteen. Thirteen, 13 artists uh, now. Well, thirteen in right. studio, and then another four or five commission from home right. owners. So, Out. yeah, I uh, oversee all their operations. I have. We actually have an assistant art director too, Karen. Right. She does all the quality control checks. Right. And uh, other such duties as <laughs> required by her post. Duties. <laughs> Duty. <laughs> okay, so listen, show me what you're working on. All right, uh, these are some Deathwing. Uh, okay. The idea was a slightly darker, grittier Deathwing, so okay. we have stuff like. Uh, yeah, this kind won't of show darker, up very well, but. Yeah, they have like a kind of a darker okay. brown and kind of dirtier around the feet. Right. And then these are supposed to be the. The Ravenwing Nephilim fighters. Well, and I like and or dark talent. It's, it's a variation for white. Yes. Uh, and what color Which, is it? Which, in particular, we did this. Uh, I'll tell you the color in just a second. We did this because the client wanted the fighters to look like they belonged with the Deathwing. So we kind of did more okay. of this kind of, as opposed to the cold white, the we did color. more of the bone color to tie them in with the Deathwing. And this okay. would be. Um, it started with black, and I put whole red on it, and then okay. uh, brown sand and tan yellow and dark sand. Okay, so about four or five layers yes. on that. And uh, I wanted to point out these have metal plates. Yes. So when you put these together, if you want to magnetize them, and tanks in general, a good way to do that is to get metal plates on the back. And then uh, the great thing about metal plates, by the way, this isn't finished. This is work in progress. Right. Um, the great like thing this. about that is you don't have to worry about the polarity of your magnets, these, basically. These sit in front there. These, uh, we actually, these are the triple, so they can be all right. the variety. So... In this case, we have one, uh, a whole sponson magnetized, and there's okay. a whole other sponson that magnetizes in that can switch between the hurricane bolters and the flamers. Okay, great. Yes. All right, uh, thanks a lot, John. No problem. How's it going, Roberto? It is going. What you well. working on? Working on free blades. Okay, awesome. Painting some stuff up for their uh, Kickstarter, I believe. I could okay. be misinformed, so don't quote me on that. Right. Free but. blades may or may not have a Kickstarter. But, uh, so, this morning, I picked up some more resins. Okay. Is this for the blue flame epoxy. thing? Yep. Even oh my gosh. transparent dye kit. Okay. Great. So, we tried this stuff first. Yeah. Super long dry time. Yeah. And still a little Have soft. you tried hot glue yet? We haven't tried hot glue. Then we tried this t stuff, which you much be faster pleasantly dry surprised. time. Okay. So, now we have some clear casting resin. Right. And two different types of epoxy. Both of which wow. are supposed to dry clear. All right, we'll see. So, more experimentation. We'll see. And is that for this project? Uh, no, Venus this is side? a separate project. All right. So, this one's Fantastic. just had a little touch-up work to go on it, Thank and you. it's going to be heading out to painting quite soon. You know, now that I see these in person, I kind of like them. This yeah, is not yeah. bad. I, I really didn't like how they looked, but it's... now after I've worked with them a bit, it's like they've kind of grown on me. Yeah, well, they're kind of after the vein of the old school demons where it was like bizarro land, you know, yeah, like, like weird. Yeah, crab claws. Yeah, and... <laughs> just out of this world, not making so much sense. All right, yeah. thanks a lot. Okay. Hey. 
Yeah, Mason. Sean, I'm sorry. All right. Okay, see you later. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, uh, that's that's not going to deter me, sir. Okay, so what's your big news? Uh, big news is, uh, I'm sure people have seen the other studio update where I had like my armies for sale on there or whatever. Right, your awesome armies. Yeah, some of them are very, very, very They're uh, amazing. converted. Um, yeah. A couple of them we didn't actually show, like a roundabout really? way. Like some of them, there's like six altogether on there. Okay, you have six I'm armies them all on off. the BTP there's, there's website. Deathwing, there's a corn army, there's ogres, orcs and goblins. Nurgle and a Signar army, so there's six. Okay, so okay. three 40k, yeah. two fantasy. Yep. And one war machine. One war machine. Yeah. Okay, okay, so I have something coming up at the end of the month, and I needed quick fundage, and I was right. trying to space it out to sell it a little, right, a little bit longer out, but it's going to be crunch time, and so I dropped the price drastically. Now's the time. So, uh, Now's the till time. Till the end of the month, it's going to be yeah. for sale, and it has to sell before. The twenty eighth ish. Okay, so, so just a couple weeks. Yeah, so All it's right. gonna. It's I pretty much hacked it at least okay. thirty five, maybe forty percent on a couple of them. So right, it's fantastic. about as cheap as it gets. So and yeah, so pick them up real quick. After that, I'm not gonna worry about it. So the price is gonna go back up because okay. the the crunch time will have passed, so it won't matter after that. All right, thanks a lot, Miss Owen. Okay, let's roll. Hey guys, uh, Robbie and Trade Stock. We got tons of stuff. Okay. It'll be up soon. It's not up right now, but it'll be up over the next week. I'm sorry. Can I just point something out before yeah. I forget? I'm really sorry to interrupt. <laughs> it's all good. Okay, good. <laughs> Texas toast garlic. Anyway, yep. I just noticed that. Yeah. My uh, ADD noticed <laughs> that. Okay, go. All right, we got tons of boxes and things that we'll be uh, unpacking. So if you haven't heard back from us, just be patient. Give it a little while. We've got a lot of stuff to move through. Um, okay, great. Some highlights. Uh, there's a rain blade tank. Ooh, nice. Okay. That'll be all allowed. Good. There's uh, lots of new sword. inbox Tau stuff. Some. Uh, oh, wow. Mm, I don't know how long that's going to last. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? We got a dark Eldar painted pretty nice. Okay, that's and great. That does that look stuff, good. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that. And uh, I put up my 45 Dark Angels infantry figures here, which I think these guys have seen before. So those are going up. Yeah, let's face it, I'm not doing Dark Angels. <laughs> I can't I can't do Marines. He was set on can't something for myself. a whole week. I'm well, proud. an Eldar are coming out. <clears throat> yeah. Within like the next 30 days. So, squee is all I have to say. Should be nice. Alright, that's fantastic. Anything else, Robbie? Uh, no, I think that's everything for right now. Okay, great, thanks. Alright, Blue Table fans, that's all we got for you today. As usual, thank you so much for tuning in. It really is our pleasure to have you here. And remember, August Valhalla is a short 12 weeks away. Now is the time to set up your ticket, set up your plan, and get it all arranged. Definitely get in touch with us because we really want to meet you out in gaming paradise.